Hello. In this video, we are going to do some practice questions based upon setting up the repositories, the yum command, systemctl, ntp, tuned, and root password. So these are the five questions that we are going to cover up. The first question is reset the root user password to red123. So this question I'll leave up to you because the steps for recovering the root user password will remain the same as discussed in the video. The link to this video is mentioned in the description part as well as you can see it above. Remember this is the most important concept because there are two machines in which the questions are mentioned in the exam. The second machine you will be able to access only if you can recover the root user password or reset the root user password. So if you are not able to do this, you will not be able to solve any questions on that particular machine. So you must practice those steps again and again and ensure that you are thorough with the process of recovering the root user password. The second question is to set up the repositories as given. So we need to open the file etc slash em dot repos dot d slash local dot repo. So name is base os base url is https xyz dot server dot com slash base os gpg check is equal to 0 and enabled is equal to 1 same goes for the other address also name is equal to appstream base url xyz dot server dot com slash appstream gpg check equal to 0 and enabled is equal to 1. Save it and that's it. The third question is to download the crony package and ensure that the crony d service runs automatically at boot time. So yum install crony let's use cron install minus y All right, so the package is installed. Next, system CTL start crony D. This will start the service and to enable it at runtime, system CTL enable crony D. That's it. Question number four is to set the system profile to balanced. So, tuned KDM. Let's check what is the active profile. So the active profile is virtual guest. What I need to do is tuned ADM profile set it to balanced. So changes are applied. Let us cross check with active and now the active profile is balanced. The last question is to sync the NTP server to time.google.com. So we need to edit the file etc crony.conf comment this line starting with pool and write here server time.google.com i burst save it and exit restart the crony d daemon system ctl restart hyphen hyphen now crony d and now you can check whether the NTP server is synced or not by using crony c space sources space hyphen v. So if everything went correct, you will see this c time.google.com. Okay. So these are all the questions for this particular video. See you next time.